hari lama ini nang api last day ke discuss kara that every matter is made up of atoms right so that is that was the first first part of our discussion right at the beginning we discussed matter can exist in three physical states uh, in those three physical state you find tiny particles which helps to make up the matter which involves to make up the matter and these particle at the right beginning we name them as atoms api me what atoms kela kiyo right we call them as atoms okay perfect so now uh, people know that this uh, matter is made up of uh, everything on the world is made up of matter or uh, energy right and we know everything what is uh, sensible to us which could be touched and uh, which occupy space and which have a mass or matter and then they wanted really to uh, examine what could these things be be made up of and then they finally found out uh, they are made up of tiny particles called atoms and now their problem we humans are a little bit curious right not little bit we are too curious so then they wanted to see what is inside of such an atom right they wanted to see and reveal what's inside these mat uh, atoms okay so that's what they uh, did next they tried to explore uh, the atom and what could possibly these atoms be made up of from what could this possible uh, what could these uh, atoms be made up of ekata ma egalanda ilangada ava prashne so then they actually did not see anything egalan kare they did uh, sort of researches right ek researches kara uh, to find out uh, what these matter atoms are made up of right ilanga experiment results ulta anuva they found out me atom eka kiyana eka hadenne of three subatomic particles uh they were named as protons electrons okay electrons and neutrons idala ngethara therum gatta these atoms are made up of these subatomic particles called protons electrons and neutrons right meva valin thamai the atom is made up of me atom meka apita pain na it was tiny right meka mara podi ne right it was tiny right meka apita pain na right uh ඒවට ඉන්න ඒගොල්ලෝ එක්ස්පරිමන්ට්ස් කරලා හොයා ගත්ත මේ ඇටම්ස් හැදලා තියෙන ප්‍රෝටෝන්ස් නියුට්‍රෝන්ස් and ඉලෙක්ට්‍රෝන්ස් වලින් කියලා හරිනේ රයිට් ලෙට්ස් ගෝ තෘ දිස් පාට් සී හියර් ඉට් සේස් ඇටම්ස් ආර් ද බේසික් බිල්ඩින් යුනිට් ඔෆ් මැටර් වි නෝ ඉට් ඉෆ් යු හැව් යුවර් ටියුබ් යු කැන් හයිලයිට් ඉට් ආයි හැව් ගූල්ඩ් ඉට් රයිට් ඒක ඔයගොල්ලන් මේ හයිලයිට් උත් කරගන්න දැස් අ වෙරි ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් පොයින්ට් ඇටම්ස් ආර් so we know atoms are the basic building unit of matter that means physical state to nama build up kala thiyenne atoms waling and the next thing is atoms are made of subatomic particles called electrons protons and neutrons atoms are made up of subatomic particles called electrons protons and neutrons right okay now the thing is uh, then uh, they researched about the subatomic particles and they really wanted to find the mass of these and uh, charge of these and all right uh so then putting a hat egolange discover ekak thiyenne about these three subatomic particles okay and then uh, we have to fill this grid day me walta egolange researches kala thamai me hoa gatte right uh, they wanted to find the mass of these subatomic particles mass and they even wanted to find the charge of these subatomic particles okay right mass of all the now how many subatomic particles are there we have three subatomic particles what are they protons okay electrons right and then neutrons right these are the subatomic particles uh, charge of these subatomic particles sorry mass of these subatomic particles right mass of these subatomic particles uh, now after all these research that we have come research karala i will have come details hoa gatta pasane api me grid ekak daanne so mass of all these subatomic particles are considered to the considered relative to the mass of relative to the mass of proton uh, i would write relative to mass of proton right relative to the mass of protons so mass of all these subatomic particles are considered relative to the mass of proton proton ekke mass ekata relative ni thamai me hama ekkena gena mass of consider karanne karane uh so do the charge right charge of all those particles are also measured relative to the mass of proton uh, relative to the charge of proton relative to the charge of proton right relative to the charge of protons 
so ehena me subatomic particles tuni api masses gana katha karanawa charges gana katha karanawa hama ekakma relative to the mass of proton or mass of all the other subatomic particles relative to the charge of protons charges of all the other uh, particles so they actually found out they actually found out the mass of sorry the cha charge of a proton charge of charge of a proton has a positivity so it, they they concluded they uh, researched and found out the charge of a proton needs a positive charge api kem ko positive one kela right a one proton has one positive charge right so a proton has a positive charge so one proton will be one positive right one proton will be one positive positive one okay and then electrons have the exact opposite charge of a proton an electron has the exact opposite charge of a proton so if a proton has one positive charge an electron should have the equal opposite charge of it that means electron has electron should have a negative charge a negative charge okay and then uh, the neutron actually compared to the protons and electrons neutron have no charge okay electron has no charge so neutron has no charge so we can uh, we can simply write no charge so if they have no charge we have we call the positive charge objects as positive objects negatively charged objects are negative objects right so if you have neither of those positivity and the negativity you call it as a neutral object so actually i mean these are not object so uh, object these are subatomic particles so protons have a positive charge electrons have a negative charge and neutrons has neither of those two charges so ne neutrons are neutral right just go for it very quickly i'll come for the next one All right hope you are done with that and the next one uh, we are going to talk about the uh, masses right masses of these subatomic particles when you talk about the masses of these subatomic particles right talk about the masses of these subatomic particles and then mama q one the masses of all the subatomic particles will be considered to the mass of uh, will be relate uh, spoken relative to the mass of protons kela right etakota me when you talk about the mass of a proton proton now there are different units to measure mass right like you have kilograms grams nanograms a lot of things are there so you are not going to consider what unit we use to make measure the mass of weigh the mass of protons right that's not relevant to you so you don't have to worry about it imagine there was a unit from that unit the mass of a proton was one okay the mass of a proton was one and when you consider the mass of a proton and a mass of a neutron mass of a proton and mass of a neutron was nearly equal they, they, they were nearly equal but to be honest the mass of a neutron was slightly less than the mass of a proton but for our comfort of understanding and calculation for your grade we, we consider the mass of a proton is exact not exactly nearly equal to neutron right mass of a neutron so then we consider the mass of a neutron would be also equal to 1 from some unit we don't have to worry about the unit so only thing what you have to keep in your mind is mass of a proton and mass of a neutron is equal nearly equal now our problem arises when you talk about the mass of electron 
Okay, the problem arises when you talk about the mass of electron, right? So you know mass of a proton, right? Mass of a proton, mass of a proton is one. Mass of a proton is one, right? So if if you are uh, if you have problems in maths, okay, you will have some stuff like problem in this, right? Mass of a proton is one, okay. And when you consider the mass of an electron, mass of an electron, right? If you take one proton, if you take a proton, one proton, uh, I would write here mass of one proton, okay? Uh, I would take here mass of one proton, mass of one proton. Ah, okay, we took mass of one proton, right? What was the mass of one proton? We know that the mass of one proton equals one. We know it. Divided by 1840. Okay. So one needs to be divided by 1840. So you are dividing the mass of a proton by 1840. And multiply it by one. In the sense, uh, you are taking one part of those 1880 portions. That's what. Okay. So, if you divide the mass of a proton into 1840, and if you take one portion of that, that would be the mass equal to the electron. Electron, right? So, mass of an electron is 1840 times smaller than the mass of a proton, right? That means, what do we do here? Simply, what do we do here? Mass of an electron, right? Mass of an electron, mass of an electron equals 1840th of a proton. That means if you take the mass of a proton divided by 1840 and take one portion of those 1840 pieces, that would be equal to the mass of an electron. Mass of an electron. Okay, that would be equal to the mass of an electron. Simply, that means mass of an electron, mass of an electron is equal to uh, one over thousand eight hundred one over thousand eight hundred fortieth of a proton. That means if you have a proton, right? If you have a proton, one proton, to obtain the mass of one proton, how many electrons you need? You need 1840 electrons. Thousand, if you have 1840 electrons, you could con, you could uh, equalize the mass of all of those electrons to the mass of one proton. That means uh, mass of an electron is 1840 times 1840 times smaller than the mass of a proton. Right. So what you can understand from here is. Uh, mass of electrons are extremely low right mass of electrons are extremely low so then uh, we can write the mass of electron also that is uh, electron a uh, mass of an electron that is one over thousand eight hundred fortieth of a proton right uh, one over thousand eight hundred fortieth of a proton right that is the mass of a uh, uh, electron one over thousand eight hundred fortieth of electron Right, so I'm a proton, right? So I'm not yet done, right? I'm not yet done. So mass of an electron will be 1840th of a proton. But the thing is, uh, when you learn uh, about this lesson further, you will understand uh, we have we have uh, we have uh, discovered so many elements, uh, but. Uh, Overall, when you talk about the overall elements, uh, there are some elements which are synthesized by humans. There are some elements naturally found in the nature. Uh, when considered all of them, we have maximum about of like, uh, let's let's come to a, come, uh, what do you call a rough value? I can't exactly remember the value. Somewhere around 120 elements. Okay. Somewhere around 120 elements. 120, right? 120 elements, let's say we have maximum of 120 elements found. Okay. So the 120th element, can you understand? 
120th element. You have 120th elements and we are talking about the 120th element. 120th element contains only 120 electrons. Take it in your mind very seriously. We have, imagine, let's we have only 120 elements found so far. Right? So far we are dealing with 120 elements. Even the 120th element, even the 120th element, consider only 120 electrons. Even the 120th element contain only 120 uh, 20 electrons, right? Even the 120, uh, 120th element contains only uh, contains only 120 electrons. So can you remember, but uh, this proto, this ele element also contains, this element also contains 120 protons. Okay. This element also contains 120 protons. So this element contains 120 protons and 120 elements. Let's imagine so, right? Then may or one either may ekka ekka proton nikka ka mass ka hadan ekka proton nikka ka mass ka hadan at least you need thousand eight hundred and forty electrons. Then ito kota may mang kata karan atom me kaise hundred and twenty protons la mass ka kaise right? A mass ka ta equalize and kisi ma vidhya ka dabe may element ke tin ukko electrons la mass ka dabe ra. Aye. A proton you need at least 1840 electrons, right? So this atom has 120 protons. So mass of those all protons cannot be ever matched with the maximum number of electrons possibly available with this element, right? So when you talk about hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom contains only one proton. So me proton ne mass equal mass ka complete karan you need at least to have 1840 electrons in it. Have I extra electrons? Hydrogen gavana, hydrogen gavati, and only one electron. Hydrogen has only one electron. So, Lamai, keep it in your mind. Uh, actually, electrons has a very minute mass, extremely minute mass. But that mass is negligible when you compare to the mass of protons and electrons, right? You can't say that the neutrons have uh, pro, uh, electrons have no mass. They actually have a mass, right? Because mass of a new mass of an electron, mass of an electron will be equal to 1840th of a proton. electron mass But that mass is extremely weak, small compared to the mass of protons. So what we consider in chemistry is uh, an electron cannot donate much of its uh, mass. An electron cannot uh, donate a considerable mass to the mass of an atom. Electrons have a mass, but when you compare to the mass of protons and mass of neutrons, mass of electrons are negligible. Right? You can't consider the mass of them to be equal with the uh, protons and uh, neutrons. Then mehima katandrayak matakkara gandu. Matakada when you were small, we kadavalvalte hima gipu hama. Right when you were small, kadavalvalte hima gipu hama. Ogulonte samharlaato one monahari gand. Right. E gando one day samharlaato ne robo remote robo ke ne kari vakar remote kai ka kari vakar ke isse ka. Right. Ek saaman ne ek gan hai wo keli mat dah dah kitar gaya. Toy shop, okay? 10,000 remote control car, Taravakina, Mimakina, kilometer Gana, and the Bolo, Kunga, and the Tari. So, then the Hada Hai. They are Makino, that's too expensive. Because, you know, me, we are Kino, and I am a byway devil, Mama Kikatukurus, Haliva, Kiro, and Rupee Lakitra Radero. Then, we are a Rupee to value work then, Tino value. Have I, we are expected in a toy, Gana, take a Rupee to value work, then we are a Rupee to them. Amma nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine nine. Amma the Gana Tikoya, where you feel the value of a clan, the value of a theater. Have a Aragana Tikoya group, a bell, where you feel like Madame Nebo, the Agro Pilati Bakavani and Ben. It's Rutika Kumamadando. So compared to the Amma Givali Vicker, 
इलेक्ट्रॉन <laughs> इलेक्ट्रॉनिजिबल ඉහින් ද අපි කන්සිඩර් කරන නෝ මැස් ඇත්තටම නෝ මැස් නෙමෙයි ආ අපේ ස්ටඩීස් වලට තමයි මේ නෝ මැස් කියන කතන්දර එන්නේ ඇත්තටම ඉලෙක්ට්‍රන්ස් වල මැස් එක නෝ මැස් නෙමෙයි ඉලෙක්ට්‍රන්ස් වලට නෙග්ලිජිබල් මැස් එකක් තියෙනවා මයිනුට් මැස් එකක් තියෙනවා දැස් ඇන් වෙරි නෙග්ලිජිබල් මැස් ඕකේ සෝ ඇක්චුලි දේ හැව මැස් බට් වෙන් යු කම්පෙයර් ටු ද මැස් ඔෆ් ප්‍රෝටෝන්ස් ඇන්ඩ් මැස් ඔෆ් න්‍යුට්‍රොන්ස් දැට් මැස් කැන් නොට් බී කන්සිඩර්ඩ් සෝ වී කන්සිඩර් ඉට් ඇස් ඇන් නෙග්ලිජිබල් මැස් සෝ අපි මෙතනදලා සියුම් කරනවා atom එකක mass එකට responsible only protons and neutrons මොකද electrons වලට තියෙන tiny mass එකක් කින්දා negligible mass එකක් කින්දා electron can't do much about the mass of the atom ඒ කියන්නේ electrons වල mass එක atom එකට ලොකුවට impact වෙන්නේ නැහැ ලොකුවට effect වෙන්නේ නැහැ protons and neutrons වල mass එක තමයි atom එකට impact වෙන්නේ atom එකට effect එකක් දෙන්න පුළුවන් that's what we consider here after so keep it in your mind for the mass of an atom what is responsible what is uh, what become the factors the mass of a proton the mass uh, the protons and the neutrons not the electrons electrons considered have uh, no mass uh, with our studies right okay paras gala meka daga For the next part, right? Here we go. Uh, mass of an electron is 1,840th of a proton, which means mass of an electron is extremely small. Just mark the word correct, please. Right? Uh, mass of an electron is extremely small when compared to mass of an electron, mass of mass of a proton. Right? Therefore, the mass of an electron is negligible. So we consider it to be negligible. Electron was found by J. J. Thomson. This, this electron was found by J. J. Thomson. uh the charge of an electron electron ne ke charge jeka was found by uh, r a millikan right it was found by r a millikan and protons uh, was discovered by a uh, proton was discovered by uh, ernest rutherford right uh, ernest rutherford ernest rutherford ke anne me hata matak vidiyar thomson ke student ke right thomson ke student ke ne ka yeah As I can remember, yeah, yeah. Thomas, uh, Thomson, give student, correct? No, Dalton, give student. Go, Mari, go, Mari. Okay, Mara, last one story, I think. Right? I, I have a idea of sharing it with you. Ah, me, can you class? Give me, right? Ah, pass it on. Give me, got three. Last one, give me three. Got three. No, experiments. Well, in that way, put me over there. Disprove, correct? Prove, disprove, correct? Prove, correct? Yeah, prove, correct? Me, how the me. Atoms लेती ना मैं वो features गया ना discover कर रखूँ story का थी ना we'll share it later okay so then uh, there was another problem with these scientists right now you know uh, you know that there is uh, there are atoms from which the matter is made 
and you know now an atom contains protons electrons and neutrons ilagada meegala thiyena prashne thamai how these protons electrons and neutrons in a atom is arranged right eagle dannawa definitely an atom is made up of protons electrons and neutrons me wali hadda thiyena eagle dannawa and they wanted to know how these subatomic particles are arranged inside the atom they didn't know how it they were arranged but they wanted to know how these things are arranged so they did different researches different experiments uh, different they, they uh, came up across different arguments and then they uh, put forward different theories explain how these atomic particles are arranged inside the atoms right samahareva got proof samahareva accept una samahareva disprove una samahareva arguments were subject una there was a story right so ugulange uh, oy wage oy wage theories godak thiyena right oy wage me ugulam project karapu theories godak thiyena e levels wala dinam oy godak thiyena ugganna na ugganna na ai samahareva disprove une kela tu ugganna na ai den gap samahareva consider karata accept correct kela consider karana apada ichchara katha karana na ha in grade 10 we have only about few uh, few can dekak kela thiyenne so one is nuclear model so new samahara kattiya me me lesson ek igena gana me model मॉडलियर okay right nuclear model of the atom uh, nuclear model was uh, proposed by ernest rutherford in 1911 right so it was proposed by ernest rutherford a scientist uh, in 1911 next he stated that there is a very small area called nucleus at the center of the atom then ogolu varadara therum ganne pa with the nucleus of the cell la nucleus cell ekey thiba nucleus ekey kathandare nemi metara kiyanne they were they were telling these scientists were telling uh, उट right nucleus so he they named as named it as nucleus nucleus ka thiyenne inside the atoms at the very center and it's a small dense uh, spherical area right nucleus of an atom is very small relative to the size of the atom right okay then problem ka thiyena we they say when you compare to the size of the now i illustrated it correctly now the size of an atom actually size of an atom could be seen with the naked eye apada pain ne atom ekak right it's small But have you ever atom make a level? Look at the level. Look, atom make a mara look like compared to the size of the nucleus. Right? Me mang yada thin. Atom make a mara look like compared to the size of the nucleus. Nucleus ka mara kodi atom make a mara look like. Right? Then problem make a thing. Then Google sa mangla ata kian yung story. When you do story learning, wala ni school it sit the which situation kaya hima kina kuna. Wala alut ka sa sulit gipu hama mitchay wala kaya hima kina kuna kina apu ka ikik ka wa machang mu hina size sugi ata kina size. There was story. Aha, me na mano sa bal na aray to kiki kawa mo ta gahan dala tayo ni mara lo koi mara tak size kuchal size the. Then ape kat lo koi. Uta wada kuchal lo koi dar alu tayo kawa buday lega. You have no idea ni ape man general ni kyan ni. So when we when we talk when we say that the size of an atom is small compared to the size of the nucleus, he mag ek kya di tayo na mai. Atom me gawa da kuchal po di the. We have no idea. So these scientists. The J. J. Thomson actually he proposed an idea to explain how small the nucleus is compared to the size of the atom. Right? He proposed an idea. Next time, I think our our government government will come and say, "Look, we 
ियस He says like this. Can you, uh, can you have you have, can you imagine a size of a football court, right? Can you imagine the size of a football court? And chickpea, that one is cuddle. If you place a chickpea in the middle of the football court, if you take a chickpea, cuddle it, yeah, because it's a football court. Take it in Bahama. Imagine in Bahama, size of an atom could be the size of a football court. Size of the nucleus of the atom would be size of the chickpea. දැන් මේක කියවම් බලා අම්මට ඔය ඉස්සලා කියව ඇටම් එක පේන්නේ නැහැ කියලා මෙන්න දැන් කියනවා මේ ඇටම් එක ෆුට්බෝල් කල් කෝට් එකක් සයිස් ඒක වැඩ දෙන නියුක්ලියස් එක ඒක වැඩ දෙන චිප් එක සයිස් තමයි නියුක්ලියස් එක කියලා නෑ මම එහෙම නෙමෙයි කියන්නේ නයිට් මම කීරක තේරුකට ගොඩක් කට්ටිය මට පේපර්ස් වල ලියලා තියෙනවා තියෙනවා when you ask the size comparison ඇටම් එක ෆුට්බෝල් කෝට් එක සයිස් චිප් එක සයිස් තමයි ඇටම් එක නේ ළමයි ඇටම් එක ෆුට්බෝල් කෝට් එක සයිස් නම් ඇටම් එක පේනවා නේ දෙයියනේ we can't see the ඇටම් You can't see the atom. That's very tiny. To give you an idea how small the nucleus of the atom, he stated size comparison. Like a gun, do you know about the size of a football court and about the size of a chickpea, which is kept in the middle of a football court? Ah, uh, that that sort of a size difference is there in the actual atom and the nucleus. Actual atom, like I have explained, it's not. He has explained that the actual nucleus is a mass of body. That's what I'm saying. Right? Here, I have explained that mass of mass of body. Right? තරම ඇටම් එක බලා ගන්නත් මාර මාරු රයිට් ඇටම් එක පේන්නෙත් නැහැ මාරම පොඩි ඔය තියෙන මයික්‍රොස්කෝප්ස් නැහැ ගොඩක් ඒ වලින් අපිට පේන්නේ නැහැ ඇට ඇටම් එක තියෙනවා ස්පෙෂලි ක්‍රියේටඩ් දේවල් තියෙනවා හරියම මාරුවෙන් ඒ වලින් බලා ගන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි නියුක්ලියස් එක ඊටත් පොඩි නියුක්ලියස් එක ඊටත් පොඩි රයිට් හරි දැන් නිකමට ඉමේජින් කරන්න යුවව ෆුට්බෝල් කෝට් ඇන්ඩ් ද නිකම චිප් පීස් ඉස් කෙප්ට් ඉන් මිඩල් ඔෆ් ද ෆුට්බෝල් කෝට් හව් මැනි චිප් පීස් වුඩ් යු නීඩ් ටු කවර් අප් ද හෝල් ෆුට්බෝල් කෝට් රයිට් ඒ තරම් නියුක්ලියස් එකට වඩා ඇටම් එක ලොකුයි right ठीक है नहीं न्यू एटम में गत्र में बैठा पे इन है बट एटम में का एटम में का एटम में का न्यूक्लियस है यानी ये तरह लोग साइज कंपैरिजन का थी साइज डिफरेंस का थी एक दिन नहीं ठीक है नहीं न्यू एटम में का न्यूक्लियस है का एटम में का वाके मार मिलियन टाइम्स छोटी राइट है ना लोग बड़ा छोटी ओके सो कीप इट इन योर माइंड या कीप इट इन योर माइंड the idea which was proposed by the scientists to have an idea about the size of the nucleus and size of the atom and we're going to write it over here right let's write it there write it there so we didn't invert it comma because this is what uh, ernest said right so we can invert it comma right if a chickpea was placed in the middle of a football court If a chickpea was placed in the middle of a football court, and compare the size of the chickpea relative to the football court, and compare the size of the chickpea relative to the football court. And compare the size of the chickpea related to the football court. Some are a similar size. Difference. Some are a similar size difference. can be seen somewhat a similar size difference can be seen between the new between the nucleus and the atom somewhat a similar size difference can be seen between the nucleus and the atom somewhat a similar size difference can be seen between the nucleus and the atom Am I done? Okay. All right. So we know that thing now. Okay. Right. We are moving ahead. Right. 
see this one the next point about the nuclear model uh, he stated that the nucleus is positively charged okay right i'm not i'm not i'm not going to uh, indicate few more things about this uh, structure so i will be making our nucleus a little bit bigger that is not because it's actually big but uh, since i want to mention some more facts about the nucleus right so he stated that this nucleus is uh, positively charged then namma poda nucleus e look karala lena oka ek details ekak daana neno nucleus is positive he stated that the nucleus is positively charged okay agreed positively charged okay so now you can imagine what could be possibly seen in the nucleus right uh he stated that the nucleus is positively charged then nanno the positively charged nang api nanno sub atomic particles sumak thiba protons electrons and neutrons right if the nucleus is positively charged you can definitely understand protons must be present inside the nucleus okay so we can mention it we can mention it that the protons are inside because we already know it so we mentioned the protons are inside the nucleus right next thing he say uh positive uh, nucleus positive uh, protons and neutrons are accumulated in the nucleus ah, okay not only protons but neutrons are also accumulated right not only protons but the neutrons are also present inside the nucleus okay so what is inside now now we found out two subatomic particles inside the nucleus protons and neutrons and obviously we know protons are positively charged so because of that the charge of protons will be appearing in the nucleus uh, if you can remember neutrons have no charge so being neutrons present inside the nucleus will give no charge to the nucleus because neutrons have no charge to give to the nucleus but again nucleus neutrons have no charge so neutrons are there inside the nucleus but doesn't give any charge but protons being there gives a positive charge to the nucleus keep it in your mind right next thing uh so if somebody asks why the proton why the nucleus is positively charged you can obviously say that the nu uh, pro nucleus contains protons right next thing uh since protons and neutrons have the masses they are present inside the nucleus and the mass of the atom is concentrated uh in the nucleus right so we we know that now we know up to now only protons and neutrons are present inside the nucleus actually uh, key, for your for your understanding i would say that the electrons are not inside the nucleus electrons are somewhere else i'll mention it so being protons and neutrons inside the nucleus can you remember protons had a mass neutrons had a mass so electrons had no mass can you remember we considered them to be negligible mass carriers right uh, so then uh, in the atom the subatomic particles with a mass are concentrated in the nucleus you have all of the subatomic particles with a mass inside the nucleus so the whole mass of the atom is held by protons and neutrons and they are present inside the nucleus so the whole mass of the total atom is concentrated in this tiny dense spherical area called nucleus so keep it in your mind you have protons and neutrons inside the nucleus because of the because of the protons available inside the nucleus the nucleus is positively charged main time out of all those subatomic particles protons and neutrons have only the mass so they are concentrated inside the nucleus so the mass of the whole atom is concentrated inside the nucleus right keep those things very sharp in your mind right next thing right next thing uh then electrons revolve revolve around the atom right electrons revolve around the nucleus uh electrons and okay electrons revolve around the nucleus okay we say that the electrons revolve around the nucleus okay right uh i mentioned an electron here that is revolving around the nucleus and you could remember you could remember uh electron had a negative charge i hope you can remember that right so understand that the protons and new electrons in the atom they have opposite charges and we are going to talk about here it here see here electrons and uh, protons are oppositely charged electrons and protons are oppositely charged that's a fact that we already are uh, aware right okay next one proton number and the electron number in an atom is equal due to this number of uh, sorry due to this atoms of no net charge so they are called neutral atoms we need to understand that also right so uh, when you talk about these atoms right uh, they have equal number of protons and neutrons right uh, right in the blank page uh, sorry, uh, in the dotted line you you have to mention this uh, hold on for a while 
right uh, hold on okay so let's talk about the hydrogen atom we are writing an example hydrogen atom again example hydrogen atom hydrogen atom so when you talk about the hydrogen atom hydrogen is the simplest atom right uh, it has uh, one proton in the nucleus which means one positive charge and one proton inside the nucleus so this is the nucleus and it has one electron it has one electron right so when you consider when you consider right uh, i'm going to give you two examples so uh, keep us in the dotted line one example should be written here the other example should be written on the other side of the dotted line so uh, write it in a way that you have enough space for both examples so when you consider this atom uh, number of protons okay let's consider it this way so in this in this atom you have how many protons protons number one only one a positive charge electrons you have one a negative charge so out of all of those net charge we consider net charge so you have a positive one and a negative one when you consider the overall charge of this atom would be zero so we can call the atom has no overall charge we call such atoms as neutral atom this is a neutral atom so a neutral atom almost a neutral atom contains same amount of protons and same amount of electrons right so hydrogen atom naturally it is a neutral atom considering one con, uh, com, uh, consisting only one proton and one new electron right we need not mention about the number of neutron we will get to know it later but this atom contains one proton and one electron so protons are positively charged that means positive one electrons are negatively charged that means negative one when you consider the net charge the charge is zero that means this is a neutral atom so keep it in your mind atoms are mostly existing as neutral atoms sometimes right so if it is a neutral atom the number of protons and the number of electrons has to be equal right no doubt over here over here one example here i'm going to give you another example Okay, the second example, right? Try the second example.
Very quickly, right example. Moving to the next one, right? And uh, so you need to uh, mention what actually uh, this Ernest uh, uh, mentioned uh, about this uh, about its about its model about the atom, right? Uh, I could. Uh, I think you have enough space to mention about it over here, right? Mena metha na yar mention kara bade kabi tu tak slightly daga hum patas gal, right? Again, yar diagram mega, right? Not this one. Right? I'll tell you what it is. Right. Okay, in the next part, we are going to talk about the planetary model and other, mod another idea presented by the uh, scientists about this arrangement of subatomic particles in the atom. Uh, so this was also proposed by Ernest Rutherford. So he thought that he felt with his experiments that this could be his early uh, proposal, early uh, model should be modified a little bit more. So he uh, came up with another idea, but this has no vast differences between the uh, vast differences compared to the previous uh, model which was proposed by him uh, slight changes and few things were added namely added things are there right okay let's quickly go through this uh, this model was also proposed by Ernest Rutherford he said that negatively charged electrons revolve around the nucleus uh, negatively charged electrons revolve around the new around the positively charged nucleus we knew it from the right beginning right he stated negatively charged electrons revolve around the positively charged nucleus, right? Okay, that's fine. Hold on. And then, just give me a second now, I. Okay, then he stated, uh, the negatively charged electrons are attracted by the positively charged nucleus, but this, but the electrons do not fall on the nucleus because they are revolving at very high speed. Okay, right. So as you know, uh, all positive charged particles, positively charged particles are attracted by negatively charged particles. We know that, right? Negative charges are attracted to positive charges. Right. So you know that positively charged particles are attracted by the negatively charged particles, right? So there's a positive negative attraction here. <coughs> between the nucleus because nucleus has protons with positive charges and electrons are revolving around the nucleus with a negative charge they have a charge they have an attraction they have an attraction positive negative attraction you know right there's a positive negative attraction towards the nucleus right towards the nucleus so electrons are being attracted towards the nucleus they can make a force right may better attraction about the and it's a force then over what do we feel Main electron nega any way ma donga level attract pila alien nette attract pila attachment nette nucleus nega because there is a positive negative attraction so they two get attracted to each other. Because alien no na why don't they get attracted? And why are they still moving around the nucleus? Why don't these electrons if they have a positive negative attractive force between them? Why don't they get attracted or fall on the nucleus? We have a problem, right? This is why I explain the. Uh, this is why I explain. Uh, the resultant forces before you talk about all of this uh, chemistry parts. Can you remember about the inclined forces? I hope you can remember about the inclined forces. Just imagine uh, there is this object. Okay, there's this object, and this object is being pushed into this side with one force. Let's say that is F1. Okay, now if you are too smart, now it will be uh, you'll understand. Okay, this is here. I'm trying to illustrate this force. The electron is being attracted towards the nucleus by positive negative attractive force. A similar force is here, but that is a physical force. Let's imagine this object is being pulled into this side. Okay, right, perfect. With F1 of a force. Meantime, this object is trying to be pulled into this side also as F2. This object is also trying to move. Trying to uh, pull into this side also as uh, pulled into this side with a force of F two. Now, if you understand these two, these two forces are inclined forces, angular forces. 
at uh, acting on an object. This object will not move into this side, neither into that side. If you could remember, how did we find the resultant of these forces? Resultant force of these forces, we just had no way of finding the resultant force, but we had an idea into which, which into which way the resultant force act. Right? I told you, we are not going to talk about the resultant forces. Uh, resultant of inclined forces because we have not yet learned about the resultant of inclined forces, right? We have not yet learned about the resultant of inclined forces. We have to learn about resolving of all these uh, factors uh, when you're talking about uh, resultant of inclined forces. So we are not going to talk about how to find out the resultant of inclined forces. Right? If you can remember, May patra force kai, may patra force kai, incline kai on the object will not be moved into this side or neither into this side. But instead, the object will be moving into this direction with the resultant force. That's what we learned. So this electron is also, keep it in your mind now, you know one of those forces, one of their forces, what is the force? Electrons being negative and the elect uh, nucleus being positive, they have a positive negative attraction. So electrons have a chance to get attracted towards the nucleus, right? Main time, keep it in your mind. These electrons have a very high speed. They have a very damn high speed. So because of that, they are trying actually to travel in straight line. Uh, they are trying to travel in straight line. This is high velocity. We mentioned high velocity. So if they have a high velocity, that means they are moving, right? A, a high velocity, I would mention it's a linear velocity, right? Linear velocity means what? A uh, straight line velocity, not a circular velocity. And on that, the object is electron is trying to move circularly. Electron negative is straight line velocity. Object negative velocity, we have studied about the Newton laws to have, an have a velocity for an object. The object should be applied with an unbalanced force. May not have a velocity and may patra linearly. Obviously, it should be applied with another force. May patra force and may not have velocity and so then this object is also uh, this object in the sense electron is also applied with two sort of forces. Right, one needs to one is the force which is applied on them to move in very high linear velocities onto this direction. The other one is a positive negative attractive force. And I may have electron negative, but forces they got in inclinedly apply well. Nucleus taking in a positive negative force, like a unit may of electrons highly linear velocity and high linear velocity and can apply other forces. In a main electron, a may patra move in it, may patra move in it. If they came a resultant direction, the electron go when they and the resultant direction is this. Resultant direction is this. This is the resultant direction into which this electron will be moving. So now you have a clear idea why these electrons do not attract it towards a nucleus, though they have a positive negative attraction. Why right? not only this force, there's also another force applied on them for them to be traveled in a linear velocity, very high linear velocity. Right? They will be traveling in, in a circular motion around the nucleus with the resultant force that they are applied with. Resultant force that they are applied with. That's a very important part. Imagine that you have a long thread into which at the end uh, something is tied. Right? Long thread. We have a classic physical classic and demonstrate the bell. Right? We have a attached to long thread. Right? We have a long thread. We have a long thread. We Obviously, straight line That means may object circular motion. It had a linear velocity. Right? It had a linear velocity, very linear velocity, and the other one of the attraction force of the motion becomes circular. Have I if the positive negative attractive force was not there, may electronic character in the nucleus or take a like what happened to our object which was revolving around the nucleus when attached with a rope. Then we have a do it. We have to do it. We have to do slow We have to do it. 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 
initially what i had to move oyage wate karaki karaki thiyenawa but if you slow down the motion ara karakena object ekak slightly would come around you come near you ehema right come near you habai e dan wawa ka slow karanne oga nawathanne ko honda motion ekak himi ta adu karanne speed ekak himi ta adu karapa mo himi ta karaki 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 langata habai now just imagine while you are turning it very fast imagine if you could if you had a chance you have no chance එක පාට අරගෙන වෙලෝසිටි එක ජීරෝ කරන්න දැන් ඔයා දැක්කා මේක කරකි කරකි ඉන්නකොට ඔයාට ඇයි තියෙන්නේ තියෙන්නේ හැබැයි when you slow down your motion ඕක කරකි කරකි අපේ ළඟට එනවා හැබැයි just imagine ඕක කරක කරක ඉන්නකොට එක පාට slow down කරන්න මොකද වෙන්නේ ඩොග් ගල ඇවිල්ලා අපේ ඒක වෙනවා එහෙනම් if this velocity was suddenly disappear මොකද වෙන්නේ තියෙන්නේ මේ පොස් එක විතරයි ඩොග් ගල මේක ඇවිල්ලා එක්කට එහෙනම් now you can explain why the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular pathway because they are affected by two inclined fuses one is the force which is acting on them to travel in high linear velocities the next one is the positive negative attractive force etoro me denna gema patara attract wenne naha the object will be move, the electron will be moving in a result uh, in a re, moving with the resultant force the resultant force act when circular may linear high velocity thing but that electron will be attracting to the nucleus positive negative attraction ekak thibena that electron ekak straight line ekak yana meka wate karage karage inna right that's why simply though the electrons have a positive negative attraction with the nucleus they are not falling on to the surface of the nucleus so they get attracted towards the nucleus right uh a part ekak clear cut kiya right uh then uh, actually niels bohr modified this model right so then api me ahagat api me je je thompson palavinata forward karapu me model ekane me न्यूक्लियर मॉडल एक ही चीज़ नहीं है वट इंक्लूडेड में प्लानेटरी मॉडल लेकर आलू तेंग का तंदरा लेकर दोनों क्यों है इच्छा राई आह इधर बस न्यूज़ बोल के साइंटिस्ट के ने का मॉडिफाई करा में न्यूज़ बोल तमाई दिखा में ऐसा मुझे सेट टेके मार में में डायल लेकर के लग कंसीडर करा में यार यहाँ के मार कंट्रोवर्शियल මේ අපිව ස්ටෝරි එක විලාව කතා කරමු එතකොට මේ මම හිමිට කියලා දෙන්නම් ඕගලට කියලා කියන්නේ ස්ටෝරි කියලා දෙන්න නෙමෙයි ආ හන් ඉන්නේ රයිට් ඕකේ එනි හව් රයිට් නෙක්ස්ට් බාර් අනිල්ස් බෝ මොඩිෆයිඩ් දිස් මොඩල් හි ස්ටේටඩ් දැට ද ඉලෙක්ට්‍රෝන් මූවින් ඩෙෆිනිට් පාත්ස් ඔ එනර්ජි ෂෙල්ස් අරවුන්ඩ් ද පොසිටිව් චාර්ජ් නියුක්ලියස් දිස් ෂෙල්ස් ආ නෝන් ඇස් එනර්ජි ලෙවල්ස් ඔ එනර්ජි ෂෙල්ස් ෂෙල්ස් ඉන් විච් ද ඉලෙක්ට්‍රෝන්ස් රිවෝල්ව් අරවුන්ඩ් ද නියුක්ලියස් ආ අසයින්ඩ් විත් නම්බර්ස් ෆ්‍රෝම් 1 ටු 4 ඔ විත් ලෙටර්ස් ඒල් එම් එන් respectively starting from the one which is nearest to the nucleus right etakota ya kiwa me electrons will take and definite parvalti hatara te yanda ba they have definite pathways and these definite pathways are called energy levels right he mentioned that there are a definite pathways definite pathways were called energy levels then oka mark kar ganna energy levels ki right ඔය මම දාලා තියෙන එක එනර්ජි ලෙවල් එකක් රයිට් එතකොට ඔයා දාගන්න ඕනේ මෙහෙම තව එනර්ජි ලෙවල්ස් තියෙනවා මෙන්න මෙහෙම මේක ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් ඔයා මොකද දාගන්න එපා මම තාම දාලා දෙන්න මම දාලා දෙන්නම් හිමිට පස්සේ අපි කතා කරමු ඔබ ගැන මේ මේක ඕවර්ඕල් ඉමේජ් එකක් දාගන්න ඕන ඔයගොල්ලෝ මේක රයිට් සෝ හි මෙන්ෂන්ඩ් අබෞට් දිස් එනර්ජි ලෙවල්ස් රයිට් लेटर्स uh in the english alphabet uh they were called k l m n n right they were called k l m n n they were called k the one which is nearest to the nucleus and then l m and n they were even named with the letters in the english alphabet right igula one two three four kela thane kara k l m n kela thane kara right okay then next one this is the most important part right uh each energy level has a specific energy each energy level has a specific energy energy level ekak nakkarana specific energy ekak naha habai electron ekakata oy energy level ekak inna specific energy ekak ko ekai kathandarai etakota me ekene hama energy level ekakata assigned energy level energy ekak thiyenawa if an electron is a uh, full of amount of that particular energy electron could be stay in that uh, can stay in the particular energy level right and every energy level has a uh, specific amount of energy for any electron to stay in that 
right? Uh, so we'll, let's talk about it further, and you will understand why the why there's necessity of energy uh, for an electron to stay in an energy level, right? Uh, when moving away from the nucleus, the energy of the shells increases, and electrons need more energy to go away from the nucleus, right? Now just imagine. You have an electron, okay? I'm going to indicate this here. You have an electron over here, okay? See here, you have an electron here, okay? Uh -uh. Okay, you have an electron here. Clear, you have an electron. Now, this electron has some sort of energy. Meantime, can you see, can you see? Okay, I'll just mention it here. Uh, I hope you can remember this electron has a negative charge. It has a negative charge. So if this electron has a, neg have a, neg it has a negative charge, this electron is attracted to the nucleus by a positive negative attraction. Electron has a negative charge. And when you have a negative charge by an electron, electron is attracted to the nucleus. Now, if this electron tries to jump into the next level, if it tries to jump into the next level, it needs energy. Why? It is being pulled by the nucleus. If it tries to go further beyond, it, ne it needs to exceed that attractive force between the nucleus and energy. And after overcoming that force, only it can move into the next energy level. Right? If this electron needs to jump into this energy level, it needs energy. Why? For what? To overcome this positive negative attraction. This positive negative attraction says that you need to revolve around this energy level, the first energy level. But if you want to move into the next energy level, you need to overcome that positive negative attraction. So for that, you need energy. And imagine there's another electron. Huh? There's another electron in the same energy level with a negative charge. It also has this positive negative attraction. And now it tries, it tries to move into this energy level. Uh, let's make it third energy level. It tries to move into third energy level. Now, first electron was trying to move into the next immediate energy level, but the second electron tries to go into two energy levels beyond. Right? So this second electron actually needs more energy than the first electron needed because it is trying even to move forward. So to overcome, to, to go into such a uh, distance, you need to overcome a huge, a huge force from the attractive negative, uh, from the attraction on the new place. So for that you need to uh, have more energy. So if in, 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 according to that, if any electron tries even to move beyond into this extreme energy level like three and four, right? Uh, three and four beyond, these electrons will need extremely high amount of energy, right? So what you can understand when you're moving away from the nucleus into next energy level, an electron needs more energy to stay in those energy levels. Now just imagine, anyhow, let's imagine this second electron of us uh, gains some amount of energy to escape from the first energy level into the third energy level, right? Now happily in the third energy level, uh, the second electron is staying, right? But in case if that electron loses of what extra energy what he received, that electron automatically will fall into the primary energy level that it was revolving around. Right? Even Right? So this electron got energy from somewhere, okay, got escaped from the first energy level, went to the third energy level. But if he loses the energy, what he got extra from the outside, he will back, come back again to the heat up ground level. Can you understand that part? Put up your hand, those who can understand that part. Next thing. Then now you know that when you are trying to move away from your new, uh, away from your own energy level into the next above energy levels, you need more energy to uh, move into those energy levels. But that energy has to be exacted somewhere, somewhere else, right? Uh, so, but if you lose that extra energy gain from somewhere, you will lose the energy to stay in uh, upper energy level. Right? Okay. So let's quickly be moving into the next part. Hold on, just give me a second. Nah?
Right. Okay. The next part. Ah, uh, right. The diff sorry. The difference between the energy level decreases when goes away from the nucleus. From the from the nucleus in an atom. Right. Okay. The next part. This is important. Right. So they say the difference between the energy levels, the the difference of the energy in the energy levels goes uh, goes down when you go try to go away from the nucleus. Right. It's like this. Now, uh, imagine like this. You have another electron. Okay. Make a product. Matakat iaga no. Make a matakuno kena leda kya. Matak karagan depa isina matakat iaga. Now imagine an electron, which is in the first energy level. You can remember that they have a negative charge. I'm not going to mention it. Electron neka kino in the first. Ah, you can't see that, right? Uh, you have an electron which is in the. Hold on. Okay. Right. You have an electron which is in the first energy level. Right. An electron in the first energy level, and it tries to jump into the second energy level. Tries to jump into the second energy level. Let me make a bang couple couple. Then for you all to understand it in a better way. Right. So the first couple was both both of them were in the first energy level. When one was trying to first electron was trying to jump into the second energy level, uh, the second electron was trying to jump into third energy level. Third energy level लगाते हैं ना राइट अनेक कहना गुड़ाक के ना जो ना because एक लाख कमेंट एनर्जी लेवल लेके तो try कराने एनर्जी लेवल देखा करें अनेक के ना इमीडिएट एनर्जी लेवल लेके जाना है ना अनेक तक के ना इधर तोड़ा है हाफ टिकट आ so one which is trying to go to the uppermost energy level needs more energy can we are nucleus ki indra ayata re anne anne uda energy level lo unde anno energy ko adiyana that was the first point that we learned then ilange ge kinawa when you try to move away from the nucleus energy level deka tar thiya difference ga adiyana e ekena mena mehema katha right there's one electron that electron tries to move into the second energy level it tries to move into the second energy level okay fine and the next thing is there's another electron which is in the third energy level ओके देंगे आप इलाके का ताकत निकला तो तेरे जीवन लेके यार ट्राई करना है यानी खतरा भी नहीं है राइट उन ने देंगे आलू कपल लेके राइट फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग हियर इस ट्राइंग टू मूव फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट एनर्जी लेवल टू द सेकंड एनर्जी लेवल आर दे इलाके के ना ट्राई करने � so who finds it difficult so if you can if you consider the positive negative attractive forces if you consider the positive negative attractive forces me palaveni energy level ekki nekkina mara langa ini nucleus ekata eda kuda eya attract karala thiyena force ekka mara strong langi ina kuda you have a very strong force attracted by you uh, attracted attracted uh, by the nucleus ne so uh, this electron finds it difficult to overcome this force into force to jump into the second energy level But this electron, imagine the electron which is in the third energy level. A at the time, a thing that my in the nucleus second. A at the attractive force like that. You know, but that attractive force strength is less because you are too away from the nucleus, right? The positive negative attraction intensity is less being away from the nucleus. So, me at the first energy level like in the kind of second energy level like that find an energy got a wada. Third energy level like in the kind of fourth energy level like that find an energy got it. That means the elect the energy required by the electron in the first energy level to jump into the second energy level needs more energy because it's closer to the nucleus and it's hardly attracted to the nucleus. So it needs more energy to overcome that very close attractive force and to jump into the next level, second energy level. But talking about the third ele electron, which is in the third energy level, it has already moved into the third energy level. Uh, so that means that is far away from the nucleus, right? So the force required by that electron to overcome the uh, positive negative attraction to dump into the fourth energy level is less. Why? It's already far away from the nucleus, right? So what you can understand from here, if K in the la decay of fine energy is equal to R two energy, that means second energy level is equal to third decay of fine energy. And a very my very less energy will be wasted to jump from the third energy level to the fourth energy level. Like any nucleus in earlier time, I know what. Energy levels they got that is a difference. Like in India, do you know? Hey, we are earlier time. Like any second, first degree, the second degree, the fine, the local energy. Second degree, the third degree, the fine, the third energy. Third degree, the fourth degree, the fine, the third degree, the energy. So the difference between two energy levels decreases as you go away from the nucleus. Have I? Palavi ni kinda devi ni ka fine energy ka kono gorak. ये तब तो रहेने थे कि कुछ पालेबिनी के जल तुम्हें निकल पाएंगे। 
so the energy of the energy levels increases when you are going away from the nucleus but the difference of the energy in energy levels decreases as you go away from the energy level uh, go away from the nucleus keep it in your very uh, keep it in your mind very thoroughly that's very important extremely important right okay so these two has to be kept in your mind very uh, strictly thoroughly right godak tell out me explain nah the case lad you know right godak lamai meka danne nah andimata da kamma exam ekala ngada yana kamma ehinda very important keep this in your mind palavini kala hari lesi en therinnati right devani ka thini hari lesi en therinna no da me kiya pedida first energy level like the second energy level to find amaru because you have a very strong close positive negative attraction ඊළඟට third energy ඊළඟට ඉන්නේ third energy level එකේ ලෙක්ටර් එකක්. එයා නියුක්ලියස් එකෙන් ගොඩක් ඈත ඉන්නේ. so positive negative attractive force එක weak. so for him to move into the next fourth energy level it's easy because the positive negative attractive force is weak. so as you go away from the nucleus energy levels දෙකක් අතර තියෙන difference එක එන්නේ නැතුව නෝ. put up your hand those who understood that point. Roshan, you get there, Unna. Samoji, there, Unna. Look, Pinushi, how about you? Was it difficult to understand? Right. Okay. So, uh, right. Okay. Next thing. See here. The difference between the energy levels decreases when going away from the nucleus of an atom. The, okay. That we uh, know about that also. The total mass of the atom is concentrated inside the nucleus because protons and neutrons are present inside the nucleus. right uh, can you understand that part also guys right uh, i need you to uh, have this diagram very quickly over here mamme board ekak dalathena diagram ekak hari ikmata men metra daagana lamai put attitudes nathi katti command ne patas gala kolega hari daagana me diagram sahay man andinna lamai ya me revision walata ehema mechchareema man karanne right uh, right mechchareema onne ne ekena mechchareema dana ganna thin theory karanna onai mola indala ma revision walata mechchara detail karala karanna baha kohoma da ekthara time nathi nathara ay grade 10 class class sahay mola indala ma karanna da मैंने मित्र दागा ने पटास गाला
ലമൈൻഡ് ആണ് ഇവരത് ആ മഞ്ഞ കാട്ടി ഓൾസോ <laughs> so you are not being taught about the sub energy levels but for my comfort of teaching i will be teaching you the uh, sub energy levels otherwise you will ask questions uh, when we talk about the electron configuration so to give you answers i should uh, teach you this in advance right so when you talk about these energy levels you have four main energy levels i hope you can hear me uh, you have four main energy levels 1 2 3 and 4 they were named as uh, klm and also with the english letters right so the first energy level right the first energy level first energy level actually now this is the first energy level which is the k energy level this has only a one sub energy level which is which is called as s orbit actually a uh, sub energy level in the sense there are orbits in which the electrons are revolving in all energy levels so this a k energy level which is the first energy level has only one orbit called s orbit in an s orbit only two maximum electrons could be uh, existing right if you have an s energy level uh, only two electrons could exist so the first energy level has only an s orbit so it has maximum of two electrons okay and when you talk about the second energy level which is called uh, l second main energy level it actually has an s orbit so if you have an s orbit you know two electrons could be inserted and it also has a p sub orbit p sub orbit a p sub orbit could have six electrons so all together in the second energy level you could have eight electrons right eight electrons when you talk about the third energy level third energy level uh, it's uh, an m energy level it has an s orbit so if it is an s orbit you know maximum number of electrons which could possibly be available that is 2 and then a p orbit that also now you know already that is a, that is 6 and this is a d orbit also is there in the third main energy level that is containing 10 electrons so all the can you can see here you have 18 electrons in the third third main energy level right 18 electrons right and then uh if you talk about the fourth energy level if you talk about the fourth energy level right uh right when you talk about the fourth energy level right l is the fourth energy level fourth energy level contain an s orbit uh, s orbit if it is so it could uh, contain two electrons a p orbit which can contain six electrons d orbit which contains a uh, 10 electrons and an f orbit f orbit consists of 14 electrons all together this contains 32 electrons right so you should have thought uh, now you should have you should have thought these three four energy levels contains first energy level contains two electrons second energy level contains eight electrons third energy level contains 18 electrons and third fourth energy level contains 32 this is how the number of electrons are distributed in sub orbitals in each of the main energy level uh, also you should have some problems why do we consider 18 electrons but when we write the configuration we only write eight electrons for the third energy level and even for the fourth energy level we write two uh, electrons we will talk about those things later keep them for your keep them as questions for the later discussions but this is the maximum maximum number of electrons which could occupy in each energy level right these are the maximum numbers of electrons which could occupy in each energy level uh, so the first energy level should contain maximum of two electrons because it contains only an s orbit second could contain maximum of a because it contains both s and p orbit which could which could contain two electrons in sub uh, s orbit and six in uh, p orbit right so note this down here under this heading 
KLMN. Yeah, I'm sorry. KLMN. This is N. Sorry. KLMN. Yeah, quickly go over it. This is the last part of today's discussion.